In this video, I'm going to take you inside of cPanel. I'm going to do a walkthrough for you, and I'm going to show you what you're going to need to uh, know about cPanel, what you're going to use the most, and how each works. So this is your cPanel dashboard. So if you go to your main cPanel dashboard, this is what it's going to look like. Now I'm in Namecheap. This is Namecheap shared web hosting. Um, depending on what hosting provider that you're on, yours may look just a little bit different. So it may not look exactly the same, but it's going to look relatively the same. Like here that says uh, re exclusive for Namecheap customers, it's not going to look exact exactly so um, that won't be there if you don't have Namecheap if you have Bluehost you it might be something with Bluehost or you know something like that so just a heads up yours may look just a little bit different if you don't have Namecheap but it's all the same really so um, the first thing that uh, you're gonna notice here is the little icons um, the little it's like a visual for me and I love the fact that there's these icons here because I can just scroll down and find exactly what I'm looking for with the icons if you if you've been with cPanel enough to know that what icons are for which then you're not going to have any trouble of finding them now if you're looking for a specific thing in cPanel you can go ahead and search for it up here at the top so if you're looking for email you can search for email and the email everything with it with the word email pops up or if you're looking for installing WordPress or managing your WordPress um, you can type in WordPress and the WordPress manager pops up so you really don't have to scroll down and look for uh, whatever you're looking for you can obviously type it in at the top here I like to do that a lot since um, or I like to do that if I don't know exactly where it's at, um, but if I know exactly where it's at, I can scroll down pretty quick and find it. So over here on the right hand side of the screen is going to be the information, general information. Now this general information is specific to your account. This is not a general cPanel for everybody. So only you are going to be able to see some of this information in here. So um, this is going to be your username. This is your cPanel username. It's not specifically your username for Namecheap or Bluehost or whatever hosting provider you have. This is your username for cPanel. Uh, this is their primary domain. This is the domain that you use when you register the cPanel account. Your shared IP address. This is the IP address of your cPanel. So whenever your um, your websites you um, install websites on here this is the IP address that all your websites are going to get so all of all of my websites that I have in this cPanel account have this IP address of 198.54.114.200 this is the home directory this I never even look at hardly never look at that uh, the last login IP address is where uh, I last log this is the log the IP address of the last login to the C cPanel this is the cPanel theme you can change the theme if you want I really like this um, theme where I can see the icons uh, a lot of the themes don't even have the icons it's just a lesson I don't like that um, I've been using this type of cPanel for years and I've gotten used to it I know where everything's at for the most part so I pretty much want to keep what I have okay so this is important these are the statistics it's hard for me to say that word statistics okay so file usage Namecheap gives me 300,000 files to use total I'm using about 44 percent of those almost 45 percent of my allowed uh, use so I'm using 133,000 out of 300,000 files uh, the physical memory usage this is your physical memory um, I get two gigabytes total and I'm using 191 megabytes um, entry processes I'm using two out of 30 uh, entry processes um, 
you know depict how many people on your site at one time if you have a lot of people on your sites if you have a ton of sites on your name sheet or on your cPanel and you have 30 processes you have a hundred websites you know uh, that's extreme but if say if you have a hundred websites that's going to be filled up very 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 quickly depending on how much traffic each and every website that's that uh, that gets uh, that gets traffic that you have under here um, if you get towards that 30 and it's going to give it's going to, your uh, your websites are going to start to give you errors on you so um, you want to make sure that you have that enough room disk usage as you can see uh, with name cheap shared hosting I have unlimited disk disk usage um, you do get unlimited disk usage however you don't get unlimited file usage so keep it as it may uh, keep in mind just because it says unlimited disk usage doesn't mean you can put whatever you want on there. So, MySQL uh, disk usage. This is your database. I'm using uh, 226 megabytes out of unlimited disk usage of my database. Uh, PostGre. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Um, I'm not using anything on that. Evidently, my server is using MySQL. Bandwidth. This is how much bandwidth I've used so far this month and I get unlimited bandwidth same thing with the add-on domains I have 24 add-on dom I have 24 add-on domains and 36 subdomains installed on this account um, alias aliases I'm not using any of those I'm using two email accounts I have unlimited email accounts now don't forget your email accounts when I we talked about file usage up here at the top emails each individual email will count towards your file usage so please keep that in mind please make sure that you're not getting spammed if you're getting spammed on any of your email accounts if you go into your email accounts and you're seeing 10,000 emails in there or 100,000 emails you're getting spammed the living daylights out of you it's going to go against your file usage so keep that in mind you want to keep your emails clean if you have email accounts on your cPanel server Mailing list, I have zero mailing list. I don't do mailing lists over uh, cPanel. I do it through uh, my own autoresponder. Um, forwarders, I have zero. Email filters, I have zero. Uh, FTP accounts, I've got one. I don't use FTP accounts. Instead of using FTP accounts, what I do is I go, come in here and I go down and I do, where, where is it at? File manager right here. If I get a file manager, I can just do everything right there. Um, let's see. Uh, MySQL database is 20 out of unlimited. Uh, this other database, I don't even know how to pronounce it. CPU usage, I don't have any 0% CPUs. CPU usage. Um, the more CPU usage, the slower your sites are going to be. So the more sites that you have, the more traffic that you're getting at one time, the slower each and every site's going to be. Um, IOPS, IOP usage, and a number of process. I don't have any idea what this IOPS means and the IO usage, but it's never been a problem for me. And the number of processes, this is um, also get, coincides with the CPU usage. The, the more people that are on your sites at one time, the higher the number of processes are going to be, and you can have 200 at one time with the shared hosting plan that I have. So uh, with cPanel, um, you can see the uh, exclusive for Namecheap customers here. I'm just going to go do a rundown for you. Um, you can do Softaculous Apps Installer, uh, Namecheap SSL. Uh, Namecheap SSL is really cool. Um, they give you a uh, SSL certificate for every domain that you put in for one year. Um, this uh, particular hosting does 50, so I could have 50 total. Uh, for one year so after 50 I'd have to start getting them myself um, you can get that from for free from zero SSL which is my favorite or you can also get them from um, I forget what the other one was but I use zero SSL um, name cheap knowledge base this is pretty much a help document help documents uh, website builder I've never used it um, you can go ahead and use it if you if you like to, however, I always use WordPress with my sites. It's easy for me to use. I taught myself how to use it, so it's really, really cool to use. It does all the heavy lifting for you. I'm not sure about this website builder. 
Jellyfish, Jellyfish Spam Protection. I've never used this either. I've used Acumet Spam Protection on um, WordPress. Set up Ruby app. This is some kind of a database or something like that. I'm not sure. I've never used it. Um, Google Apps, uh, Contact Support, Man Shell, Auto Backup. Auto Backup is cool to autom automatically back up your site. However, if you get close to this file usage, to your max file usage, it will no longer back up your site. So you need to make sure that you keep your file usage to minimum if possible. And ways to do that would be, you know, going into um, if you have a lot of domains, maybe some of your domains have expired, get rid of the WordPresses on those domains, get rid of the domains in your cPanel. Um, go to your existing websites. Um, are there any plugins that you're not using that you might be able to uninstall? Are there any themes on there that you've that you've uh, that you've downloaded and you're not using? You can uninstall those. Um, media files take up a tremendous amount of space. Um, you could get rid of some of your media files, videos, uh, music, um, pictures, uh, you know, things like that. Um, emails, look at your email addresses and, and make sure you're not being spammed. So those are ways that you can keep your file usage down to a minimum. Um, I use this script the most is WordPress. With WordPress here, you can install, uninstall, you can make changes to your WordPress all in one dashboard. If I would click on it and open it up in a two tab, I'll show you here real quick. Um, it lists all of my domains here and exactly what you can do with them. You can delete them, you can make changes with them, you can manage them. It's really, really cool. You can log in right from here. So if you're having trouble logging into your WordPress, you can do it straight from that screen. Uh, it's kind of like a back-end way in. So um, they'll always give you access to that back-end way. So it's a really cool way to do it. File manager I use a lot. Images, uh, you can compress your images here. So give you disk usage and your inodes usage. Inodes usage is uh, your file usage. It'll give you more of a rundown and a breakdown. Uh, the emails, what I use the most is email accounts. You can create email accounts here, delete email accounts, check your email accounts. I don't do autoresponders here. I do default address. So um, that's a way that you can keep your uh, your file usage down is by using default addresses. So let's say that I want to go ahead and I want to make a website and I want to make, um, say my my domain name is domain.com. I want to make a name, a uh, web, uh, an email address saying support at domain.com. But I don't have one set up under email accounts. What I can do is I can come over here in default addresses and I can put um, any domain, any, uh, if somebody sends me email that is not deliverable, it'll automatically go to another one of my email addresses. So it can go to a Gmail account. It can go anywhere. So that's really, really cool. You can set those up. It'll just be forwarded out, and it won't take out take up any of your file usage. So I do that a lot as well. Um, you could do spam filters and email client setups. I don't do any of that. I don't. I've never done any of that. So I've only done email accounts, default addresses. Um, and that's pretty much it with that. I don't do anything else with that. Databases, I don't do anything with databases. I don't know anything about databases. I'm not a database kind of person. I don't know anything about coding, so I leave all this stuff alone. If you know anything about coding and databases and all that, by all means, go at it. But I don't know any of that, so I, I don't post any of that, so um, I can't say anything about that. Domains, this is where you can add your domains. So if you want to add domains, delete domains, um, add subdomains, you could do that all from domains. Now there's a subdomains here, but you don't have to go to that. If you add subdomains, you can go specifically to domains if you want. Um, SSL TLS, this is your certificates. This is your SSL certificates. And you will be able to uh, install, uninstall, um, Make changes to your uh, to your certificates, auto SSL, all of that. So you can also view your statuses here, um, and the rest of it. I don't even I don't even bother with any of that because I don't really have to deal. You don't really have to deal with that. Just SSL TLS and SSL TLS status. Um, metrics. This is where you can view your metrics: how many visitors your sites are getting, your bandwidth, your resource usage. 
uh, errors if your site's giving any errors. Software, I only use the WordPress manager by spec Softaculous here. And uh, advanced is Lightspeed Web Cache Manager. If you want to use that, you can check that. If you want to use that, you can check that when you create your uh, WordPress. And these are your preferences down here. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please click on the like below. Also, subscribe to the channel. Um, more tutorials are coming through later. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.